It's your boy Noto coming to you with another video, coming to you with more content, man. And this right here is gonna be like a body game, uh, nutrition type video. If you want to know what I eat and stuff like that, and and how I uh, how I'm doing my diet and how what I'm eating and stuff to cut down and trim down the fat and keep on the muscles. So let's see. Uh, right here, I guess I'm gonna start from. I'm just gonna go ahead and start from left to right right here so first I got my lavish bread I got my lavish bread and uh it's a real good bread I use this for my pizzas and uh whatever kind of wraps I might want to make use that I put these this pepperoni to uh 70% less fat pepperoni on them and you rock out like that look at that the macros are amazing guys the macros are amazing and uh I got my sweet potatoes Oh yeah, you know the sweet potatoes, man. Come on, that's a staple right there, man. That's a no-brainer. Got the sweet potatoes, man. It's real good, real good, real sweet, good carb, good, good carb source. And then when you get that peanut butter filling, man, come on, get that PB2, guys. Do not be eating that regular peanut butter. That shit full of fat, half of fat. Look at the calories on this thing. It's not bad compared to the regular. I wish I could hold these side by damn side to show you guys this. We got the the silk, soy milk. Yeah, we got the silk uh almond milk, I meant to say. Almond milk. Good calories on this. It's not 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 too bad, not too bad at all. Good, yeah, I mean, now you got the taste well. I don't really drink it that much per se, but it just it just be there, you know. It just be there from when I want it from time to time. And to be honest, they always end up spoiling because I don't eat I don't eat cereal like that. So and the thing is I don't even have cereal in this video to eat with. Cause I didn't kind of finish the little honey bunches of oats things. It's my favorite cereal, but I can eat too much of it. Okay, and we got the Smart Pop popcorn. This is the best popcorn you guys can eat, hands down. Ninety-four percent fat-free Smart Pop Orville, uh, Ridden Botchers, whatever the hell, how the hell you say his name. Mini bags of butter. We got twelve. Actually, I, I prefer the kettle, but I miss and grab this one by mistake. I mistakenly grabbed this one by mistake. As you can see. I got an open container of the, uh, of the of the kettle. I thought I grabbed two of these, but I grabbed one of them or whatever. And, and that's what happened. And that was a mistake. But this popcorn, hands down. All the other popcorn, bullshit. When it's coming to cutting fat and all this, this is the best option. 100 calories a bag. 100 calories a bag, guys. 94% fat-free, 100 calorie bags, bro. Way better than Skinny Pop, any other, no. This right here, this popcorn here. Anybody tell you less? It's bullshit. Okay, tell you now. These right here, the veggie roaches chips. I love these, bro. These are very, very good. Thing. They have very assortment of different flavors, but I found that I really like the veggie flavor. I love the veggie flavor, man. It's got 130 calories per 30 grams, and it's that's a pretty good amount too. When you put it up, it's like a handful. You put it down, it's not. It's not that bad. It's a good real snack. It's a real good snack, and I actually. Uh, mix that with uh, what I'm going to mention next is the Wild Cut Sun Star Kiss Tuna Chunk Light, baby. And guess what? In water, baby. We don't, we don't do that vegetable oil shit around here. Okay. Uh, and uh, yeah, I got I got little canisters and I eat it. I eat it with my chips. And to be honest, everybody be like, oh, why you do that? I put hot sauce. I put hot sauce right on them. But we're going to get around to that. We're going to get around to that. But I put hot sauce on them and uh, eat it with the veggie chips and I dip whatever. Eat it with the chips, man. It's, it's just good. Yeah, whatever it is. Got the can opener so I can pop it open. Yeah, I ain't forget that can opener this time. Last time I, I had forgot it and I had to go in and start using the knife to open this, man, on that, on that ghetto shit. But, nah, this time I got my damn can opener. I made sure. That was damn near the first thing on my grocery list. And I'm actually doing a grocery list now. I used to go in Walmart at this wing it. But, uh, you know, we trying to be precise these days. You feel me? Okay, got the birds out. You already know broccoli. I ain't got to really explain that like that. We already know what that does. We got the steam fresh whole green beans over here. The whole green beans. And we ain't talking about the green bean, dude. We talking about the green beans for your health, G. Oh, yeah, we got the beans. And I got the tilapia. Everybody was like, oh, the tilapia is not good. I don't give a damn. If I like that, I like it. I like it, okay? It is what it is. I've been eating it all my life. And if I would have had so many health problems, it would have happened by now. It would have already happened by now. Or it might be accumulating or, or whatever. But regardless of the fact, what anybody got to say about this stuff is that it's helped me get closer to my goal. 
and it's helping me to be healthier overall and being a lighter weight. So anything that's contributing to that is, is a plus. Whatever whatever downside might come to that is is not it doesn't over it doesn't outweigh the the benefits of health that it will end up helping me achieve. And here we go with the bonus skin this chicken breast. Oh yeah, you know guys. And you see I got that eight pound bed. It be feel like a it be feel like a dumbbell. I can go on and lift this, go on and curl this thing, you know. Man, give him some reps, man, you know. But this is a pretty good, pretty, really good sources of protein right here. Really good sources of protein and low fat and very, very low calories and extremely, extremely satiating, guys. Satiation. Hear that? Say it again with me. Satiation. Motherfucker. But anyway, and we got the lean ground beef, guys. Come on, guys. You understand that? 93.7 G. Ha <laughs> ha. You see that for 93.7. And then we got this right here, man. Look at that. Look at look at look at the the cow. This is so good. A great source of protein. Great source of protein, man. All oh, this is a great source of protein, man. It's good, and it got a little good good percentage of fat that you can have with it too, so you can get your fats up too without really having to go on the outside with it. You know what I'm mean? saying? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go, guys. We got the light fit. <laughs> Greek yogurt, strawberry yogurt, man. I am messed up about this guy. When I tell you I'm messed up about this guy, I gotta have about like two of these a day. I'm about to stock up on these things because I really, I really, really love these things. These things go quick for me, man. Seriously, they really, really go quick. And thing is, I like to have them with actual real strawberries. Oh yeah, I damn that dip these in that. I dip these in that. These go hand in hand. Like, 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 you know what I'm saying? They're like Kool-Aid and sugar. You know what I mean? Like cereal and milk. That's, that's, that's the correlation I have drawn between these two wonderful, delectable items right here. Delectable. Very, very delicious, guys. Very delicious. These guys should get out a chance, get out a try. You can try it. They got blueberry flavor. You can eat it with blueberries, which I don't recommend. Blackberries are better. But let's not get into it too, too far, too far into it. Okay, here we go. I got my Mrs. Dad's salt-free garlic and herb seasoning right here guys man this is really good really really freaking good guys it really is and it gives your, your food some type of some it's, it's, it's a different type of flavor it'll give it but trust me when you're trying to keep that sodium low this is the way to go jay this is the way to go that kind of rhyme you want to keep that sodium low this is the way to go like put that shit in the wrap but anyway <laughs> I'm just playing with y'all, man. I got the great value. Yeah, great value, which I did. Save some money on this bitch, guys. Don't hate. Garlic powder. <laughs> it don't matter. Garlic powder is garlic powder. I don't give a damn if it's wrapped in some other some other brand or not. Garlic powder is garlic powder. It's doing its job, and it's a great supplement to its meals. It's great. And it's not It's not. It's not going to go high. It's not. So the single ingredient, guys. Set, set, sticking to the single ingredient is not a bad thing. Man. It's really, really good. And hot sauce, when it comes to the low-calorie condiments, hot sauce really is a low-calorie condiment. I mean, you have to go too far with it, but you know what I mean. It's high in sodium, but at the same time, if you drink enough water, a lot of the sodium is going to be flushed out anyway. So, I mean, hot sauce is really, really good. Thing is, that's, that's another thing people don't tell you. That hot sauce is that hot sauce is golden, bro. That hot sauce is what's up. And we got the sugar-free mother F and G Hughes. You see, he got him in the belly. Hey, you see that? What's up, man? He got the award winning on the side. You see that? Be the pit master, man. You can't, man. You better put some respect on that man name. Stop playing with that man. Stop playing with you, man. Fuck out of here, man. Fuck out of here, man. Anyway, you got the hickory flavor. Hickory. I got. I like the sweet and I like the sweet and uh. Spicy flavor too, but it got good assortment of flavors. And look at the calories. Boom! Come on, regular barbecue sauce. You see the calories right there? It's high as say 10. The regular barbecue sauce might say 60. You see, you see that? A lot of people go wrong here. Here with the, with the, with the condiments. Putting putting so many calories on this. You know how many you know how much that is? The serving size being 30 grams. You know how much sauce that is? That's a good amount of sauce. But the same amount of sauce, that that number right there could be 60, 70. You easily could be adding a whole bunch of calories, three or four hundred calories on top of the meal that you're trying to give healthy. So you so you on top of the eating the fried chicken, you putting regular barbecue sauce. This is really good too by itself. But the thing is, I mix those two. And I mix the rock itself to it. So if you don't like this alone, mix it. Find your own mixture, guys. I'm telling you, bro. Y'all can say, oh, you mix the barbecue sauce with hot sauce. Okay, try it then. Try it then. Then then come back and thank me later. 
Okay, here we go. I got my, uh, oh yeah, my canola oil non-stick spray. We don't want nothing sticky around here, man. I don't give a damn. We got the non-stick pans. We all know they lag from time to time, and they all stick from time to time. So let's put a little coat into this. Good stuff. Spray that, that joint, you know what I'm saying? I got the extra virgin olive oil. Ain't never been touched. You know what I mean. But anyway, we got the pumpkin. Oh yeah, the pumpkin. All natural. No preservatives. In this beef. And yeah, this is a very, very, very good baking item, too. I, I use this in a lot of my recipes. Um, I make uh, some brownies with this. Sometimes I might. To be honest, I could kind of eat some of this stuff by itself. I mean, I like pumpkin that much. I've come to love it that much. But I could use it in a lot of baking items and stuff like that. And that will that, that really contributes a lot. And it is a lot of fiber. And it's very, very filling. Now, that is very important. Filling. Very satiating. Keeps you full. Out of this business. You don't want to be trying to eat healthy and be hungry as hell. It's going to lead to a binge. And we ain't trying to do that. And as you can see, I done kind of started up on that Quaker, boy. I ain't going to lie. Your boy messed up by the grits, man. Your boy messed up by these grits. You hear me? Your boy messed up by the grits. Why you eat grits on your thing, man? It's too much. Man, supposed to be eating grits. Why the hell I can't eat grits? The, the Mr. Olympia, eight times Mr. Olympia, is eat grits, egg whites, and, 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 and cheese, and cheese every morning. It's only 100 calories a pack. 100 calories a pack. Count your calories, guys. Count your, that's what matters. Calories and protein content. And the macronutrients, you can fit that in, whatever, you know what I'm saying? You can fit that in. But those two, right there, the calories, the, uh, the protein, the fats, the carbs, you know, keep that keep that in a good range. But the most, of the, most of the thing is, as long as you get the protein, and as long as you get the, uh, as long as you get the, uh, you meet your calories for the day, Oh, make sure you're in the deficit, guys. But it doesn't matter. It's the calories that are making you fat. It isn't fat that's making you fat. It isn't carbs that's making you fat. You guys got to stop being carbophobes. Stop being carbophobes. I'm going to eat my damn grits. And I eat them every morning. And you see how I'm looking. You see how I'm looking. So I am, I am, I am a, I am a, uh, I'm a prime example. I am a prime damn example. You hear me? Anyway. Now we going on to the no calorie sweetening and the thing is, guys, why are you guys using regular sugar? I notice they have a funny aftertaste and stuff like that, but once you end up eating this a lot, you're gonna end up becoming accustomed to it, guys. I'm telling you, and this saves a lot of calories. I'm telling you, saves you a whole bunch of calories. You be putting on sugar and all this other stuff. Just sweeten your meal up a little bit. Sweeten your meal up a little bit, and. You know, make it taste better. I should, I put this in my grits sometimes. Like, oh, you don't need sugar in your grits. And I don't give a damn. I put salt in it. Whatever I feel like putting in my damn grits, I put in my damn grits. I'm not a part of that debate because I like them both. Debate your mammy. Anyway, here we go right here. Oh, yeah. We got the bell peppers. I usually, I usually add the bell peppers to this. I mean, you know, a lot of y'all probably have followed me for a while. But seeing that I like to combine those two. And, you know, that is one of my favorite meals. So today, bell peppers are very, very, very good source of carbohydrates and, and it's good for satiation as well. And it's good for hydration too. For some reason, I feel a little better when I consume some bell peppers. And we got the cage free liquid egg whites on my father. About that, that little honorable mention. It's not honorable mention. It's a very great source of protein and very, very satiating and a very good filler without adding a whole bunch of calories to your diet. Very good filler. Damn that pure protein. It's pure protein. Pretty much pure protein. Egg whites, why the hell aren't you using this, guys? It's got to be in your fridge. And let's get on to these subs, guys. Let's get to the subs. We got the L-Arginine up first up here with your boy. And we got the, uh, it's a 500 milligram dietary supplement, heart health. You know what I'm saying? You know, good thing, good for blood flow and all that. It's like, the, the organs had them veins popping. Tell me, man, you... you Especially the people that probably might have ED, that might help that too. We got the Omega, we got the Omega 3, not 2, not 1. We got the Omega 3, 1,000 milligrams up in this bitch, you know what I mean? We got the form from fish oil, dietary supplement, heart, general, and brain health. Guys, they get that brain healthy, they get that heart healthy, and they get that general and everything healthy type shit. Got the turmeric, curcumin, whatever the hell, curcumin, whatever the hell, however the hell. However the hell you pronounce that. I take that too. <laughs> okay. I take that too, guys. I take it. I take it. Damn it. I take it. And um, 
it's, it's very good, man. It got very good. Health. Look at it. Supports healthy inflammatory response, promotes cardiovascular, immune joint, and skin health, guys. Why the hell aren't you getting this in your system, guys? Get this in your system, man. That ain't bad. You got the maca root, man. Hey, but my boy Steph is cold putting me on this one. You got the maca root. <laughs> Support overall nutrition for support of male and female hormonal function. Hormonal function that is very important. And we got the biotin over here, guys. We got that biotin. You say that? Hair, skin, nail health. See, guys, when you got such great skill. Oh, damn, I'm gonna drop my damn camera. How you got such great skin? Hey, that's a part of it. That's a part of it. That's a good big part of it. And we got my one a day vitamins that I take. I take my one a days, man. I take that. I just started back taking these. Ain't too bad. The vitamin E, extra strength, vitamin E. You know, I'm, I'm kind of running low on these. I only got like a few more of these. You can tell I use, I use my shit, guys. So, so keep it real. I'm my other biotin back there. That, that's empty. So, go back to using it. And you see, I got my whey protein. You know, my Walmart protein. This is man. I ain't been going too special with the protein. I ain't too, too extra with it. But the thing is, see, this is what it is, guys. It is what it is, and that's what it is. Okay. Now, that's the complete thing. That's a complete grocery haul for the night, guys. It's, I just went to Walmart and just went and got, got me some stuff, man. And I just wanted to show you guys what I'll be eating for my diet and all this other stuff. If you guys want more other videos, more in-depth videos about this stuff, then I will. And I'll give a uh, more detailed descri uh, description of why I eat and how I make my meals and other stuff like that. And how I track and all kind of stuff. If you guys really want to know stuff about this... Link it, say, hey, say it in the comments. Hey, we want videos like this. We want more nutritional videos. And I'll help you guys with that because I'm, I'm about to make some programs and stuff like that for um, nutrition and workouts and all the workouts and stuff that I do. The nutrition, which is the most important part, guys. The most important part, 95%. I say 90%. Nutrition, guys. Nutrition. For my heavier guys are trying to cut down, I got you. And you, it's not, you don't necessarily have to eat what I eat. You don't have to necessarily eat what I eat, guys. What I'm saying is, you can you can find your own way, and we can we, we can shape it together, bro. We can shape it together. But anyway, it's your boy Noto coming to you with more content, coming to you with more videos, and anybody can improve themselves if they're willing to work at it, man. I'm out.